Hello friends, today let's solve longest common subsequence problem. Actually, this is a typical dynamic programming problem. It is similar to addict distance problem. We are given two strings, text 1 and text 2, return the length of their longest common subsequence. A subsequence of a string is a new string generated from the original string with some characters can be known, deleted without changing the relative order of the remaining characters. So ACE is a subsequence of ABCDE while AEC is not because AEC had changed the relative order of the characters in ABCDE. A common subsequence of two strings is a subsequence that is common to both strings. Let's see this example. We will see ACE is these two strings common subsequence and it is the longest, so we return 3. In this example, we do uh, get all of actually these two strings are exactly the same. So the longest common subsequence is 3. Okay, let's see how to solve this problem. As I said, this is a typical DP problem. We can use the bottom up. We can build this table from begin a uh, very beginning. We'll build a DP array and its size will be n plus 1 times n plus 1. The reason that we use is one more because that we do not need to check the index to see whether it is valid. Uh, definitely you can initialize a array of the size of m times n but if we make it uh, one larger, we do not need to check the index every time. Actually, we can use a general method to fill this table. Okay, let's see. This is the DP array. So when we see the index from 0 to 2 in the text 1 and to see the index 1 to 1, which, uh, which cell should we look at? Actually, it's DP three two, DP three two, because we actually make a one larger. If it's the index from zero to three, we will check uh, the index four, and if the index is zero to two, we will check the index three in the DP array. So that's it. So we will use for loop. Uh, a, a two for loop actually. The outer loop is iterate the text one and the inner loop is iterate the text two. So what is DPIJ mean? That means the longest common subsequence from the you know substring of the text one from index zero to I and the substring of text two from index 0 to index j. So that's the meaning, you will see. So currently the i is in the 0. And uh, actually we will fill the, this, mm, you know, this column uh, in the dp array. And we, the j is, uh, at first is at uh, 0. Then we see a equal to a actually. So currently, the longest common sequence between A and A is 1, so we fill up 1. Then we iterate, uh, we move the J forward. Now we compare the longest common sequence between A and AC. It is still 1, right? Because A not equal to C. We just uh, uh, keep this 1. Even though A is not equal to C, but uh, the LCS between A and AC is still 1. So we fill up 1. And then we move J forward. Now currently we compare A and ACE is still 1. So we fill up 1. 
and then we move I forward. Currently, we compare AB and uh, AAC, ACE. So when J are at uh, index zero, AB, A should be one, right? So the longest uh, common sequence, uh, subsequence between AB and the A should be one. So from these two examples, you will see once the currently the current two characters are not equal, we will get a maximum of its previous uh, two value. What does that mean? When we add A, B and A, A is not equal to B, but we know A equal to A, so it, we should not fill up zero. We should fill up one. Actually, we, we uh, use this one. And when we uh, compare this A and A, C, even though A is not, not equal to C, we will use one, right? Actually, it's here. So actually, when we current the two characters in not equal, we will get a, the two a maximum value between this place and this place. It's left place and it's up place. It's the same. So we get the maximum between one and zero. So we fill up one. And uh, we get the maximum value between one and zero. So we fill up one. Okay, this is the case when these two characters are not equal. How about when the two characters are equal? You see, if we are at a, uh, we are at index two, so it is this column, and we compare A C E. Uh, actually A C is enough. The longest common sequence between A B C and A C is two, right? The current two characters are both C, so. It's the same. How do we get two? Actually, we will move these two index backward. How about the longest uh, common sequence between A, B, and A? It should be one. So currently, we will add one more. So it should be two. So when we move two pointers backward, actually, we get the value of DPI and DP, uh, DPIJ. So this is this place, this cell. So when they are equal, we add one more, so we get two. Uh, it's the same to these two places. So wrap up. We iterate uh, the two string, use two for loops, and we keep a compare the current two characters. If they are the same, we get, a, you know, move backwards, dpij plus one. If not, if these two characters are not equal, we just get its left and um, upper max value. So that's it. Now let's write the code. We get the length of these two text and n is text two dot length. We use a DP array and uh, it size should be m plus one and n plus one. We iterate. It's two strings, i less than m, i plus plus. So for int j equal to zero, j less than n, j plus plus. We get the current, uh, current two char, which is text one char at uh, i. And uh, c2 will be text two char at uh, j. So if c1 equal to c2, uh, dp i you know, i plus one, j plus one will be dpij. Otherwise, we know that should be dpi plus one, j plus one equal to max. No, mass, max dp i plus one, j dpi j plus one. Finally, we just return dpmn. Yeah, I think I finished that. Uh, mm, let's see what's wrong. Oh, sorry, it should have plus one. Thank you for watching. See you next time.